Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first of many audience of webinars, uh, especially during the crisis uh, that we are facing right now. My name is Oliver Wilke. I'm the Vice President for Global Sales and Client Services. And for the next 30 to 45 minutes, I would like uh, to inform you about um, your possible marketing strategies especially if you're hotelier or if you're related to uh, the travel industry. Um, maybe um, some things I would like to point out before. Um, <clears throat> at the bottom of your screen, you will see a Q&A button um, where you can actually insert your questions that I will address at the end of the presentation. Uh, so please feel free to ask me about everything that is not clear within the next 30 minutes, and we talk about it later. So let's start uh, with our marketing tips. Now, first of all, I need to point out that obviously <clears throat> the daily news and everything that happens on a daily basis is actually overtaking uh, the presentation. So <clears throat> we have started to do the presentation two weeks ago uh, under different circumstances, obviously, and, um, and we try to give you the 10 best marketing tips to survive this crisis and to look maybe further ahead um, um, to retain your business. Those are all marketing related topics that I'm addressing right now. So we are not talking about how to maintain uh, the cleanliness of your hotels, etc. This is just very purely advertising related and um, it's um, covering different topics from advertising to marketing to social ads, everything that you should do in the next couple of months to keep your business running and to secure actually also Q3 and Q4 bookings. Now, this is the agenda for today. Um, I would like to talk one minute about AudienceServe, the, the company that I'm working for, and then I'm giving you 10 marketing tips um, for all your different uh, properties and all your different businesses that you're running within your uh, hotel vertical. Um, before we come to the q and I'm giving you also the travel trends for several Southeast Asian countries. That might be very useful for your planning, for your future planning uh, of your advertising campaigns after the virus situation has relaxed a little bit. And as I said, at the end of the presentation, we have 50 minutes question and answers. You can also get back to me later on and I will uh, help you find the right way how to market or how to survive uh, um, during those difficult times. So as I said, my name is Ola Wilke. I work for AudienceServe, I'm based in Hanoi. Um, I have a little experience in advertising and marketing and obviously also I'm very familiar with um, the situation in hospitality nowadays because a lot of my clients uh, come from the hotel sector and obviously it's also very important for me to uh, to make um, make sure that everybody gets the best information not only for myself but also from my company. Um, very quickly, what do we do? Audience, uh, we're an ad agency. Um, we uh, drive different kinds of campaign, customer acquisition, which is very important for you, slash direct bookings. But we also do B2B lead generation, brand awareness, and we use uh, different channels in order to get the best result for you. Actually, we're using all uh, digital media, online channels like AdWords, Display, Mobile, Social, and Email. We are active all over the world, and it's more, and most importantly, we can target your audiences or audiences in general worldwide via the different channels. The preferred verticals are obviously hotels slash hospitality, but also other um, uh, uh, industries like uh, finance, e-commerce, automotive, etc. And altogether, we are hitting slowly the 80 employees mark at audience of world, worldwide. Now, those are the offices. So for Asia Pacific, obviously we're operating out of Hanoi and out of Singapore. And uh, we have uh, four other offices also in Europe. Now, the 10 marketing tips for the hospitality industry during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we are very well aware about 
all your challenges that you're facing right now, starting from is your hotel, uh, can you still uh, maintain your hotel business? Um, what should you do in terms of um, health and security? But also, obviously, as we're an ad agency, we are more focused on what should you do during the next couple of weeks in order to keep your business running and in order to keep your business ready for the post-COVID season. Obviously, we don't know when that happens, and obviously things are getting worse right now, but it's very important to point out that uh, looking at SARS and, H, uh, and, and other epidemics or pandemics, um, there will be a time when people will travel and they will be hungry for traveling. So even though you might not get any bookings or any guests right now, you have to be prepared for the future not to lose uh, the contact to your current clients and potential clients and also not to fall behind your competitors who maybe are doing the right things currently, which I'm going to explain to you right now. So. Let's start um, with uh, tip number one. Keep maintaining your public image. So the worst thing you can do is fall under the radar. Obviously, you are very, very busy. All hoteliers are very, very busy uh, in internal processes. But just imagine you have clients that also would like to take part of that or who would like to be informed about that. So. In any case, if you disinfect your hotel, if you train your staff on, uh, on health guidelines, um, everything you're doing right now, feel free to share it with your potential and existing clients. And um, that means stay in touch with them. Um, use your website to show them what you're currently doing. Use social media, use your Facebook fan page, your Instagram, whatever social media um, 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 tool you're using. Stay in touch, show what you do, be clear, be honest and transparent and, um, and um, do something, obviously. Now, um, the main, the most important thing is avoid triggering panic. There's enough panic already uh, in the media right now. What you have to do is uh, show openly what hap what's happening currently in your hotel. What are you doing in terms of safety for your guests? What precautions are you currently uh, uh, implementing? And then uh, find a nice way how to publish that into the market. As I said, it can be just a microsite or just a blog on your website, but social media, your own Facebook fan page is perfectly for that. Also, from an investment point of view, you can do that kind of content marketing by yourself. You need a picture, you need your actions, and on the right side, actually, you can uh, see a, an example of how it could look like. So keep in mind that your guests or your potential guests still want to know what's going on because maybe they have booked the flight already to your location. They maybe have already booked uh, even the journey to you and cancelled or whatever happened, but they want to know when can we travel? What are you doing currently right now? So that's uh, tip number one. Now, if you are looking for clients in general, who is the best possible client? Obviously, uh, the clients that have already been at your place. So um, loyal customers. Uh, have to be addressed and that's also very easy for you. You don't have to find them. They have already been to your property So you need to remarket to them now here are a couple of things um, um, that you should do so um, You still have to advertise obviously you still have to show that you're still doing something So you still have to keep the relationship up now the good thing is that you don't have to look for data You don't have to buy data. You don't have to invest lots of money you have hopefully your own database with the information of your clients um, and you also have probably a tool how to communicate with them now the best way how to communicate updates on a regular basis to your existing clients is email so 
it's very cheap, it's very easy, and you have everything there. So if I were you, I would go and dig into my database, filter out all email addresses that have at one point been in contact with, um, with your property, and then create a newsletter covering all the topics that I have uh, previously mentioned, and send the newsletter on a regular basis. So you can actually, for the next eight weeks, uh, plan a newsletter series with very simple steps. Today we are cleaning, tomorrow we are preparing that. So you have to make a little bit of a content or email marketing plan and uh, publish those information then on a regular basis to your existing clients. Um, because who knows what happens in, in two months. They might come back and you don't want to uh, get out of touch with them. Now, <clears throat> another way how to successfully remarket to your regular customers, obviously, is um, um, to advertise via other channels and also bring them into your loyalty program. So as you can see, there are some examples. So right now, people have nothing to do. They might not travel. They might not book a flight for the next two weeks, but they're very hungry for traveling. They're very hungry for what's going on. Right now is the time to bring those people into your loyalty program. And obviously that's very important for the future. Now, um, different ways how to do that. I would also assume here, email, uh, probably social media, maybe some advertisement, but also bring them to your website. Don't forget that they're still surfing. I saw a very interesting um, 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 documentary yesterday about the surfing behavior uh, globally in the last two weeks. Obviously, we have nothing to do. I mean, we work, but um, the traffic, the worldwide traffic has been risen up to 40% more than the week before. Also, as we are still running campaigns, I have a very good insight about the behavior of our clients and behavior of our and your audiences. And the click rates are going very, very high up. So people are still clicking. However, the bookings obviously have decreased, but people are clicking, people are hungry for information. They want to know what happens to my preferred hotel in Thailand, uh, Philippines, or Bali. So please uh, keep that as an incentive to stay in touch with them and to offer them all information possible. Now, the third part is, and actually that is something which sometimes is a little bit uh, neglected, is now is the time to update your content. Work on your SEO. You don't have to set up um, complicated campaigns right now. Now is the time to go into your back end and check about your website. Now, it's not, um, it's not only about content marketing. Let's start from scratch. I did a lot of website speed tests in the last couple of uh, months and I'm very astonished about the performance of a lot of websites currently. So this is a time right now where you can improve your website performance, where you can update your content, where you maybe even can implement some new things on your website, like a new section, a blog section. That's very important. And I hardly see uh, any blog or new sections on hotel websites. Now, where can I find news? I have to go to your social media. Okay, fair enough. But this is the time right now to, um, to, to, to improve your website, make it quicker, give more information, and also obviously address the current situation. Now, I have four um, examples of what you could actually do right now. And I would like to focus on the left side, the right side, um, is a little bit more detailed. Um, I will make that presentation available to you later on. On the right side, you will see really step by step how you should do it. Now, um, uh, due to um, time complaints, I will just um, uh, tell you what we would do. So first of all, content marketing means article writing. Yes, write about yourself, write about your hotel, write about what's happening. Also, 
you can already now address upcoming promotions for Q3 and Q4 events, etc. PP. Those articles are essential. They are very, let's say, cost inexpensive because you probably do them by yourself. Now, the question is how and where do you publish this information? If it's only stuck on your website, obviously you have to bring the people to your website, but there are other things. So create a blog and update the website content. First of all, um, I recommend everybody to implement a blog a button and a blog section on your website where you can just import all the articles that you've been writing, maybe also import external articles of the current situation. Now, you can share that blog later as well, obviously, um, uh, to other, um, by other technologies on other channels. Now, also one thing is, now is the time to shoot a video. I mean, obviously, everybody is under stress. Everybody is feeling fearful. However, a hotel or hotel group needs good videos. And um, from my own experience, I know that you guys are always busy with lots of other things. There's hardly a time to shoot a video and take all that effort into that, even if you have a good uh, equipment for that. Now the beaches are empty. Your hotel is hopefully not empty, but maybe not totally occupied. This gives us or gives you a good chance to get the best shots possible. You have the chance to arrange your rooms in the best possible light. You have the chance to use your beach or amenities and everything around your hotel to do the best pictures and videos right now. Um, it must not take a week. You don't have to be a Hollywood producer to make a video, you just need a good camera and a good, um, good idea about that. And to be honest, if not now, you will have no time in Q3 and Q4 to do that, assuming that the situation will get better and we all hope for that and it looks like that right now. So same thing, if you have nothing to do, do something. And that means shoot a video and also here now, post. Use your social media. If you don't have a Facebook fan page, I highly recommend you to set one up. Ooh. This is a place where you can assemble all your information. So rearrange your Facebook fan page. That goes in the same direction like with your website. Take your time, check your fan page, get some fans and put valuable content into that. So I don't wanna to go too technical. If you want to know exactly how to do it and what to um, stress and not to forget, please have a look later at the right side at the green graphic where we give you very precise information of how to do it. Now, obviously we are doing that as well. Um, we are also blogging. Uh, I wrote a little article as well about um, advice for APEC hoteliers, but also uh, other um, uh, team members have um, addressed the topic. So at the, uh, at the audience of um, uh, website, you should find also more information about that. Now, don't stop advertising. Now, I have to admit that we might have to maybe um, um, redefine that a little bit. Um, don't stop advertising, but probably you have to reduce a little bit and maybe advertise differently. It's a big, big topic right now. So obviously advertising is always um, related to cost, right? So you have to pay for advertising in, uh, um, in contrast to marketing, which marketing actually as a general um, can be also free, like social media marketing and content marketing. Advertising is always price related. Now, you might not know that currently the prices uh, for advertising, so the CPMs, the cost per mails, cost per 1000 ads, or the CPCs, the cost per click, are sky falling down extremely from $1.40 now to um, 40 cents uh, regarding the CPM. That means you can 
theoretically push out much more messages, much more ads than before. The CPC, the cost per click went down from uh, 12 uh, cents to uh, uh, 4 cents, which is also extreme. Now the question obviously is what should you advertise? Obviously we're not going for direct bookings for tomorrow. Nobody's coming tomorrow. Nobody's booking in the next week. So what should we advertise? I'm gonna explain you later what is my personal perception for the best advertising topics and how to do it. But keep in mind, this is a time right now to probably do something in that relation. Now, um, audience surf and myself think or are sure that you should still advertising but with a different target and with different call to action. If you don't show your ads right now, your competitor will do. So the question is, what do we do? We are targeting different booking periods. We are targeting also maybe, uh, especially uh, to a later extent, uh, as you can see, long stay promotion, starting from 17 March to 23 December. So um, there are some um, things you have to keep in mind for that, but there are still ads running we are still running ads for our clients. We are still getting conversions for Q3 and Q4. Obviously, we have to also be careful how we can uh, um, make those conversions um, um, really valid. But yes, um, to a certain extent, you still have to invest a little bit of your budget, not so much, but a little bit in order to not uh, lose touch to your client. And that brings us to the whole topic of assess the impact the, on your business. And I talk about the current impact. And this has changed obviously um, two, from two weeks ago to today. Two weeks ago, the approach was a completely different one or three weeks ago. You have to be stay up to date. So let's look at this, what you have right now. Now, please have a look at the bottom right side uh, dig into your data and analytics. This has nothing to do with the current situation. This has nothing to do with external sources. This is something that is only on your side. So do you know who will be your target audience in the future? Do you know, for example, um, what markets have been your best markets in the past and what markets might be upcoming your new preferred markets in the future. Did you already compare the impact of the current COVID crisis to SARS and H1N1 or to other epidemics? What happened in 2000, I think 2002, 2003, 2004, something around that, what, how quickly did the business pick up? Do you still have data about that? Do you still have information? So really dig into everything. Uh, use your analytics if you have. Use your database if you have. And start analyzing and assessing what would you do and what should you do in the next couple of months. Um, and that brings us to the marketing strategy. This could also be seen completely separately from the current uh, pandemic, but in this case right now, I want to explain you how our audience of marketing strategy for our clients that we, um, that we run for our clients has changed in the last couple of weeks. Now, we have basically, um, so audience of usually goes for direct bookings. That means the quickest, easiest way to get of hotels, obviously, the quickest and easiest way how to get clients book on your website. And that is actually without any brand awareness, but it's really just money making for you. Now, in terms like that, we have to go back a little bit. Please have a look at the right side at the graphic. Now, usually audience surf would jump in at the consideration stage or the, or the decision stage. So when a client, a possible guest is looking for something, we jump in and we make him book. Now, in, in times like now, we have to revert back to the top of funnel strategy. So 
or you. That means it's more about brand awareness. It's more about um, information um, published to your client. So there will be bookings. You should always implement a booking opportunity, but also now it's about uh, getting exposure uh, of your hotel. As I said, people are clicking, people are surfing, people are reading. Now you have to make them aware of yourself. They will not type in probably the name of your website because they don't know it, but now it's a time to show them here we are via a display ad, via a social media ad, maybe even via PPC because <clears throat> people are still surfing. And then um, having reached that kind of awareness is a perfect time as well to jump in exactly when uh, travel restrictions are being over and then directly get to your existing clients or to your potential clients and show them, hey, we're here, we were here the whole time and now see our, um, see our offers, so, which will increase your revenue at the end of the day. So this is something you have to keep in mind and um, that means also that you would have to readjust your campaigns, your promotions, your offer. And that is something I've been talking about for the last three weeks. So um, the initial idea of getting direct bookings or getting bookings or running ads for a hotel is always, okay, as you can see here on those two examples, book now. And hopefully also, pay now and in the best case, no refund. Okay, let's forget that. That's not gonna work anymore. When I talk about changing your promotion, I mean also, we have to talk about changing your policies. So, um, first of all, we need bigger windows, bigger booking windows. So, theoretically, you, sh you can extend your booking window from today till end of the year, Obviously today, nobody will book something for tomorrow. So the booking period should be the whole day, but the staying period has to be kind of uh, flexible. So for now, actually uh, looking at the situation as it is right now, I would go for July or Q3 and Q4. So everybody can book today for his stay in July but also can get refunded, don't have to prepay. But you have to make sure that people are coming back and people will be hungry for traveling. So, and they might, and I know a lot of my, um, in my private environment, people who are now looking for uh, good hotel offers um, that are cancelable, obviously refundable and everything, but um, they're deal hunters, actually. They're always deal hunters that always try to find as well uh, the benefit of the current situation, the benefit is that in Q3 or Q4, you might get a very um, reasonable hotel to reasonable price right now. And this is something that we strongly suggest you to do. Um, not, probably not at the budget that you're currently spending. I would say keep a minimum low line of awareness and booking opportunities still open, but don't completely get off the radar. That would be deadly, especially since um, the hotel groups, which might have more budget than a small hotel group or a boutique hotel, are still doing it. But that, at the end of the day, you don't want to lose all your clients to big hotel groups. So keep on advertising, reduce your budgets, sure, and adjust your campaigns and your promotion. Um, this is also something that is important, uh, offer value add-ons. I mean, um, that's something actually that goes into every campaign. You don't have to discount. I mean, obviously right now you should probably discount your rooms, uh, for, for, for a June stay, July stay, and the price should always go up a little bit, also depending on your high and low seasons, but also please just, uh, be clever and, uh, um, and add, um, a bottle of wine. Um, add free airport transfer, uh, entrance to local attraction, etc. So just make your offer a little bit more attractive than maybe from an OTA or from your competitors. Now here are some examples 
uh, from um, uh, uh, that we saw on the internet, partly from clients. Um, so yeah, you can do everything. You can uh, offer a free yoga class. As I said, it's not for this month, not for next month. Take it as a general advice for myself uh, or just add it to your uh, current Q3, Q4 promotions, which you should prepare right now, actually, and then have a look at, uh, of what other competitors of you do. Now, this point actually was very clever two weeks ago, and I didn't want to take it out. Two weeks ago, there was still heavy domestic travel possible, at least as far as I know, in Thailand, Vietnam, um, Philippines, uh, Bali, etc., Malaysia. Um, and that gave the chance for local drive-in markets. Now, I'm very well aware that currently right now, the situation has changed a little bit. Um, as far as I know, local travel is also uh, minimalized, but I am very sure that the first people who travel will travel domestically. And that also means that your um, um, messages should go out within your own country. So, um, local getaways, weekend getaways, etc. PP. That should be the thing that as soon as it's possible anymore to travel from A to B in your own country, this is something you should do. What we do um, for our clients right now is that we are basically minimizing the geo-targeting uh, to certain countries where we felt that it's still working and we feel it's still working to a certain extent. But in order, um, if uh, the situation relaxes, your own neighbors or your own countrymen will be the first ones to travel because they cannot go probably somewhere else. So keep that in mind and also maybe around that tailor the offers and promotions in your own language. If you are not in an English speaking country, you don't need to do an English ad for your own countrymen and women. So please localize yourself, obviously wait what happens with the current situation and then go heavily for your own uh, uh, countrymen. Um, obviously also, and that is also um, uh, actual uh, current situations are basically uh, uh, um, quicker than my presentation, but um, a lot of you have also alternative revenue streams like spas, um, F&B outlets, etc., cetera, um, wedding services. Okay, this will not work today, we know that. This can work in a week, in four weeks, in five weeks. So also, so don't forget, if nobody wants maybe to stay as a guest in your hotel, but you still have your F&B out and open, don't forget to advertise for it. I'm pretty sure that this situation will relax soon, especially with, uh, with restaurants, spas, I'm not too sure about that. But yes, um, use your whole, whole portfolio um, in order to reach out to your clients. And I don't mean that always um, with money in my, in my head or money or the, the background of revenue. But also now is the time prom to promote your restaurant and your other um, um, amenities. Promote them, make people ready to come in as soon as they are ready to travel that they know about yourself. Okay, um, it's easy for me as a marketer to say, free cancellation, be flexible and generous. However, it's pretty sure that if I would be a deal hunter and I would look now for deals, and I know there are people looking for deals currently, which deal would I take in order to travel to a date where I'm not sure it's gonna happen or not? Let's say I'm expecting August or July to be a a month where everything is kind of back to normal. Okay, so I'm surfing the net. I'm seeing your ad hopefully on display or PPC and you have a very good offer for July. I can book now. I don't have to pay now, but it's not refundable. Showstopper, 
this is not going to work. I, as I'm, I assure you, you can get bookings currently for a later date. I assure you. However, they have to be refundable. They have to be flexible. And you have to be, um, yeah, refundable and flexible. So I have to be able actually to change the date. I have to be also able to pay upon arrival or maybe pay two weeks before I start the journey or have to be completely be refunded. So you have to get flexible right now, but you have to also get a certain substance for Q3 and Q4, that's very important. You cannot start in August or July thinking about how do I get my September clients? It's not possible. You have to think about that right now. But give your clients the security and the right to be flexible with it and um, results will come. <clears throat> Just some screenshots here, um, how to do it. Um, there are different ways how to um, make the cancellation policy applicable. Obviously, you should always include it very, very prominently in your ad. That's very important, but also at the, at the back end on your website or wherever <clears throat> the booking takes place, please um, keep in mind and show it to your potential clients. <clears throat> now, number 10, that is, um, um, this is actually the thing we're talking about most. Keep your focus on the long term. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the next month, two months. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to last the whole year. We all know people are home, homesick already. I mean, homesick in a way that they get sick at home. Um, and people will um, spread around the world like the virus is spreading around the world as soon as government says go. So plan ahead. Um, create a virtual start date for yourself. Virtual start date for you is like, okay, we suggest, and that is really something you can do for yourself. You expect your business will be back to normal or travel will be back to normal in, on the 1st of August. Okay, now start planning all your campaigns towards a staying period from 1st of August onwards. Create your promotions. If you don't want to advertise right now, fair enough. Um, but get ready, get ready, plan ahead, get your creatives ready, get your call to actions ready, get your, um, uh, um, your marketing efforts ready. Um, clever hoteliers, they advertise right now for a little budget and they keep it going. It's called an always on campaign. It's always running. If you don't want to advertise right now and in four weeks, um, government says, okay, have everything ready by then. Have your PPC ad ready, <clears throat> have your display ads ready, probably have your new videos ready, everything. And in your mind, keep a virtual start date that can be always changed on your side. Um, yes. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, there's, um, um, this is also the wrap up already and uh, please free, feel free also to use the Q and A button in order to connect with me right now. Um, and I'm very happy to answer all your questions. Uh, it will be anonymous, don't worry about that. So <clears throat> at the end of the day is um, to wrap it up, use your time right now for things that you have not had time before. Content marketing, website, um, website uh, development, uh, clever campaign set up, um, data inspection, database analytics, uh, social media cleaning, social media setup. There's a lot of things to do. And the point, you will be happy about that when the point comes and you will be very busy probably in Q3 and Q4 when you have everything ready and everything is ready as well for the clients to come in again. Now, Audience Surf is um, very famous for digging in very deep into 
um, yeah, travel trends, obviously, we need to know when are high low seasons, when are different, um, different um, geos um, actually booking, when are different geos traveling. So I will go very quickly about that because um, I'm going to share that presentation later by email and you can yourself dig into those things. So we just for you uh, as a special service for you, we, um, we just put together the travel trends for Thailand. Uh, when is high season? When is low season? When are people actually moving? Um, obviously those are numbers that are based on uh, pre-corona stats. Um, this is not everything and obviously I cannot, um, I cannot disclose everything because this gives you the high season of Thailand. What audience have is bringing to the table is also telling you when do the Germans book, when do the Singaporeans book, when do the um, Australians book. So that's something I don't want to disclose right now, but we can talk about that later on. Um, so obviously also there are changes in Thailand. So we did that for Thailand, we did that for Indonesia, obviously with Bali being uh, the predominant uh, destination here. I think my Balinese clients, they know when it's a high season, low season, but also we know when are people traveling and you might want to get support about uh, the latest updates from audience surf as well. So if Australia is ready to travel or if Australia is not ready to travel, what other country could be replacing your most important geo? So we know that and we're happy to share that at a later stage with you. So um, information on Indonesia as well, uh, pre-corona and Vietnam. Uh, so as you can see, in um, lots of, and I want to actually wrap that up here with the Philippines. Um, as you can see, the high season in lots of Southeast Asian or Asian um, countries is in October anyways. So actually, um, us Germans in March, we are not traveling anymore right now. We are uh, we, we finished the travel right now. So we are now already looking for end of the year travel. So um, as lots of high seasons are in October, November, nothing must, much has changed. In Thailand right now, it's gonna be the low season anyway. So, okay, it will be very low, but actually it goes hand in hand with the almost hand in hand with the, current, with the normal situation. So you have to already plan right now what's happening in your high season. So. I would like to uh, finish the presentation right now. Um, I, um, you see my contact details here. It's oliver.wilke at audienceserve.com. Um, I would be very happy to share the presentation with you. I sent you personally the, the, the deck over. I would also be very happy to have a personal talk with you later on. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little show. Um, stay safe. Uh, to all my friends and partners, stay healthy. Uh, thank you very much for your attendance. I, I see there were quite a few amount of people listening today and um, uh, everyone knows how to reach me and uh, have a good day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.